In this video, we'll take a look at the process for opening models, including some of the things that you can expect when opening models that are more of a room or building sized project versus opening models that are more of an object sized model. We'll start by opening the Dance Center project. Here you can see the loading animation sequence. There's a loading box which offers a percent progress indicator as well as a close button up in the top right in case you accidentally open a model and want to go back and open a different one. And here you can see once the model has been loaded, it automatically opens and is anchored to the nearest available horizontal surface that the application detects if it finds one. And so here you can see the model's automatically anchored to the table that's in front of me. If I were standing on an open floor area, the model would open and it would just be hovering right in front of my gaze. Now you can see the model's bounding box is lit up, offering options to move, scale, and rotate the model around. We'll cover some of those details in a different video, but here before we wrap up, I want to close the model and just show you how things are a little bit different if we open a model that's more of an object size. So I'll take a couple steps back and open the SketchUp Icons sample model that's available. And here you can see that smaller sized objects are automatically going to open at one-to-one -one scale and they'll automatically be anchored to the floor in front of you. So kind of fun here with the SketchUp icon for us to be able to do that, but also a good thing when you're trying to open models that are maybe of a furniture object, like a chair or sofa, or maybe even a little collection of furniture, to have that model automatically open at one-to-one -one scale and anchor to 